So we are live in three, two, one. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to this uh, third episode of a very, very interesting series with Mindspace. And for further proceedings, I'd hand it over to our host, Professor Dr. Asim Parikh, sir. Over to you, sir. Thank you, Ashok. Good morning, Ashok. Namaskar, Nana Sahib. Namaskar. Good morning. Good morning. Lovely to have you here. Third Sunday in a row. Yes. And today, you're going to take us on a fascinating tour of the land of the sides of Englishtan, as we knew it then, of England, as uh, we know it now. So my first question to you today is, after having uh, gained the MS degree of the then Bombay University, why did you wish to go to England? For further training, qualification, sir? Uh, you are right. Got MS from Bombay, prestigious Bombay University in India in those days, post-independence. But you know, in those days, there were no further qualifications like MCH in specialties. Even the so-called MS Orth and MS ENT came much later. So all that you were called is you are MS General Surgeon. And there was no way to enhance your specialist knowledge. And the dream of my father, as I mentioned last time, that somewhere he had the dream that his son should become a surgeon from England. And my own childhood fantasy. And therefore we thought that if KEM does not have open space for an assistant honorary overdue, Dr. VP Mehta's post, and if it is not likely to be on the horizon, why not take up fellowship? So we found out that in the 56 February, they were starting their course. So I immediately got in touch with our Gossamek Dr. C. V. Mehendre. He was two years senior to me, 45 batch. Very, very versatile man. He had gone to England, passed his primary. So I got in touch with him and said, I want to come. So he did everything. He paid the fees of the Royal College. He booked my residence at the YMCA and received me at the port. Now the question was, where does the money come from? In childhood, I had asked my father, England As a child, Sure enough, you know, small words uttered without knowing their significance and depth. But the destiny sees to it that father and son relationship is such that if son wants it something, the father will do it. What does he do? He gives me some shares of Tata in those days. And I go to Mumbai in the famous Nabar and company who dealt with share money. He saw the shares and he said, why are you selling these shares? It's a gold mine. I told him, sir, this kaam ke liye yo share 15 bis saal pehle liye the, wo moka abhi aa gaya hai. So he was inquisitive. He says, what? So I told him the story. The old man was also touched. He says, of course, take the money. 9,000 rupees. That's all. So I booked a passage on ship P and O Carthage. Mere saad, on the ship was our own Gossumek, R. L. Shah. He became surgeon in, I believe, Nair Hospital. That's correct, sir. At the lowest rank, costing four berth down below, near the engine. Engine ka itna awa jata tha. Ek din maine wo engineer ko pucha, saala ye ship itna awa kyu kar raha hai? To bolta hai, Baba, ye iski last journey hai. Ye matari hai, ghar ghar kar rahi hai. We went like a pochang in a London Haha Jarul Pochang. It was a very wonderful journey from Mumbai, January 56 to February 13th. I landed in England on 13th, but for me there was nothing. Uh, on the way, there is a fun, funny thing happened. Aden may boat Rukti, where Pitaji gave some uh, patients, Sangwis. A lot of Gujaratis in Eden, you know, Gujus. They came to receive me on the ship. 
पांच घंटा शिप रहती थी घर को लेके गए कैन यू बिलीव दैट ऑन वे इन द कार दे स्टॉप एट द पेट्रोल स्टेशन पेट्रोल पंप वी टू कॉल इट देम देर वॉज ए जेंटलमैन फिलिंग अप द टैंक एंड ही आस्क मिस्टर संगू आस केम छो धीरु भाई केम छो धीरु भाई नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सिक्स एंड इसे केम संगू भाई आज को गेस्ट तेज शिप पर आया ये तो मार डॉक्टर ना दीको है इंग्लेंड में जाए छे पर्स केस मे तो मैंने धीरू भाई कीधु ऑल द बेस्ट देट धीरू भाई लेटर ऑन रिटर्निंग टू इंडिया इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सेवन विथ फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज बिकम्स धीरू भाई अंबानी द लीजन देट वॉज द स्टोरी सो वाय एम सी ए नेक्स्ट पार्ट इंग्लेंड हेड YMCA old one and the new one it was built by no none other than the high commissioner of india in those days independent india krishna menon was building centrally heated what a luxury in those days dusre jagah upar tum gas par paisa dalo aur wo gas se garmi karo heating so this ymca i entered it. on the first day going to Royal College of Surgeons. One Mr. Gurjar, who had come earlier six months and had failed twice in primary, he showed me the way to Royal College how to change the underground tubes, two stations to go to Hobart. After 14 months, when I started coming back to India, Gurjar, मेरे को बोलता है, साला मैंने तेरे को रास्ता बताया Royal College का, मैं यहीं पढ़ा हूँ अभी तक, तू तो वापस जा रहा है कर। That was the stuff. So at that time, were there any difficulties with uh, visas, documentation, uh, application in advance, uh, being confirmed as a student? Look, the the course at the Royal College of Surgeons in those days at Lincoln's Inn in Hobart used to be nine weeks. It used to be nine to four, and we did not have those ribbons and and your own ID, but we had to carry it. in a pocket and there used to be a huge marshal standing at the door i didn't understand why are they checking you know what happened one day our own gossimek three years senior to me sagarya that man had gone to england did not pass his exams but still used to come to royal college and whenever there was no marshal he used to enter the coaching class so when they realized that some people are entering so they were checking up in that coaching class primary course rj last from australia was our teacher in anatomy and livingstone he was teaching physiology the subsidized food at royal college was a great attraction in those days har ek bhartiya ke paas paisa kam hota hai to bahar ja ke khana as opposed to a nice sumptuous lunch at royal college of surgeon during this very interesting feature happened one day we were told that today after your class you are going to go out from this door because there is going to be a big ceremony sir winston churchill ex prime minister of britain is having a program in our one of the halls the publisher is publishing his book his book the history of english speaking people and the other book was by african american singer artha kit her autobiography so we came out onto the road and comes a big royal rolls rice and gets down this old man in those days around 80 plus with that typical felt hat chubby man showing the victory sign great pleasure to see the idol of the british at the time of the war and yet i realized what a democracy when the war was over and the time was for reconstruction at that time at that time british britain threw him off and then had atli as the prime minister so after the whole course was over within 15 days the examination for a primary from england was for the first time mere ko aisa laga itne log fail hue hue london primary ke milte the deshi the desis were telling me aisa hai waisa hai i got cold feet ab kya karna ye to ho gaya but then suddenly one people one person told me there is a primary in dublin Within two weeks, why not go there? 
ठीक है लंडन नहीं बैठना है तो चलो डब्लिन जाते तो इन द कॉरिडोर्स वी आई गैदर एज ए लीडर ट्वेंटी ऑफ अस गोइंग बाय शिप टू आयरलैंड डब्लिन फॉर प्राइमरी फ्रॉम रॉयल कॉलेज ऑफ सर्जन्स ऑफ आयरलैंड so that is how i entered dublin in those days and it was wonderful to see a country which loved us because the common factor between irish people and indians were their enemy the britishers they divided india they also divided ireland the belfast and the republic of ireland so there we had a wonderful place to stay for uh, commonwealth students called koinonia house and then there was old man wonderful anatomist ek hendri ye jo british log hai na har ek british aadmi author hota hai on the lines he used to take coaching classes to so, jahan hum pahunche to ek hafte ke liye anatomy usne humko padhaya kuch paise le liye hamare se anyway so we 20 and all others appeared in dublin primary and only two of us got through from the primary at dublin myself and one mr surendra bahadur singh who later on became the chief surgeon of tata isco jamshedpur to so primary to pass kar diye came back to london sir a question uh, clearing the primary at any of the royal colleges uh, was equivalent for training further training in england at the time reciprocal they had a reciprocal reciprocal arrangement i am told later on that they also had royal college of surgeons in glasgow so it was, and and then there was in australia also so you could also do anywhere primary actually there was a primary examination while i was studying in uh, doing registrarship primary first year where examination was held in colombo and some of our gosumex i remember distinctly jagos who became cancer surgeon and arvin vakil they had gone to Colombo to take primary there. Of course, they couldn't make it there, right. but some right. people had made their primary. So, so please, final. कहाँ से करना? क्या करना? London final course was not there. Saint James's used to offer clinical courses, but they were full. Then somebody told me the Royal College of Surgeons of Edinburgh they used to have a final year FRCS course of three months. So I said this is the best opportunity. Why bother whether England or Edinburgh? So I went to Edinburgh. In those days, our Indian gynaecologists coming from in Bombay with MD, they wanted to take FRCS Edinburgh because they had a paper in general surgery and then gynaecology. So many of them took the same course as we for the general surgery. Along with me at that Royal College of Surgeons Edinburgh. course was dr khanwala siddharth who became gynecologist in some of the bombay hospitals here sd khanwala yes sir i believe his son also came up later on yes sir there was a, there was a lady student bimla javeri daughter of a well known javeri jewelerist in bombay she was doing frcs with us and there was one elderly gentleman from madurai kalyanam this was a man who had passed his primary at the age of 40 from london he stood first in mbbs chennai and winning the johnson medal famous johnson medal of in those days mbbs but his ambition was to become frcs leaving wife and three children and a nursing home back home he had come to edinburgh on the second day he comes to me knowing that he is a bombaya hai ms karke aaya hai primary bhi ho gaya hai so he says why not take me as your running mate so we stayed together as a paying guest in a dig just opposite and this vimla javeri later on married kasturi bhai lal bhai son siddharth bhai but never practiced as a surgeon so sometimes i wonder how much hardships we undergo getting up in the morning november to january in the cold of scotland walking across the meadows going to the classes and why all that but you know ultimately it pays one fine morning after the course the theory papers were written there were orals in the royal college of surgeons and the dark days the used to be dark earlier at 5 o'clock the results were announced and only two of us from the course who had taken up the examination both had passed 
myself and Kalyanam. Kalyanam was a very nice man. When you used to ask him what is your name, he used to pronounce Kalyanam. So they said, no, no, just spell out. So he used to say K-A-L-A-Y-A-N-A-M. So the British used to ask what sort of language you are speaking. The pronunciation of a typical Madrasi language. So I became from Dr. Madhav R. Choudhury of Mumbai, Gosume, to Mr. M. R. Choudhury. What a funny way, you know. You get your fellowship and then you are called Mr. As if till then you are just a doctor. So this was in practice that those who got that fellowship were Mr. And later on, if you are knighted, you are Sir. So many of our surgeons were Sir so and so. That is how the final FRCS came about. In those days, there were no telephones easily available. But yet, my parents were vacationing in Pune in a hotel called Jeevan. And they had gone in the evening to see the darshan of famous Sarasbagh Ganpati. My phone rang at Jeevan and the man said that Dr. Sahib, Atas gele bahir. The mantla nai kasai karra nai ka maansala tenna zaun sanga ki tuncha mulga England madhe paas zhala FRCS. The tela kai samjha na, to tikade gela and tenna sanga lagla Dr. Sahib, tuncha mula cha kai tari phone hota and to England madhe kai tari zhala. My father understood what I was all about. My mother says, tears came down his eyes. He immediately went to the trustees of the temple and gave them donation. Ki ithe atta cha atta ek mutha baag bandha and tacha harti liha. Dr. Madhav R. Chaudhary, son of Dr. R. N. Chaudhary, passed his FRCS. Titi tari diyos ki loka zaun tithe bhagai chan maala ulkhi che sangai che tumcha nawani baag ahe punya cha saras baagye madhe. The day you pass your Evdimbara final FRCS. So that's about the exams. So there was a course uh, for the primary, a course for the final. Uh, taking the final in uh, the Republic of Ireland, uh, uh, in Dublin, moving to Edinburgh, doing the course for three months in December, January, clearing the exam, becoming Mr. Madhav Chaudhary. What about the hands-on surgical training? Because what it sounds up to now is uh, more of a tuition or a coaching uh, for uh, 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 studying and acquiring information. I tell you, looking back, sub theoretical tha. Bade samustha ka shikka lag gaya ki ye FRCS hai. Okay. Arjiba admi Bombay part 1 MS part 2 MS karke KEM se pass hoke surgeon hua tha while operating. All this period in England, nothing was done. But then I felt very uncomfortable. But my luck was that somebody in a hospital near London, Bethnal Green, he wanted me to be locum. With FRCS, the authorities allowed me to be his locum. So after a gap with two examinations and two courses, I suddenly started operating 15 days in that Bethnal wow. Green. The first impression of a London or England or British hospital was all Commonwealth boys, rowdy South Africans, Australians, New Zealanders, some from Middle East, and all our Desi Commonwealth people. They used to be doctors there. It ne rowdy the ki Saturday evening ko bolte the paise nikalo ten bob. Beer ki bottle sangi, raat ko music lagega aur dancing honga. So for me, coming back from KEM. It was a big change to see how these people are fun loving and how the hospitals also allow such a thing like that. You see. So nurses ko compulsory pakad pakad ke laate te dancing ke liye. So that was 15 days experience. But now what happens? What do I do? No course for final FRCS in uh, London. After that, I realized suddenly that I have met Sir Cecil Wakele in KEM. Last time I told you. You mentioned it last time. Sir Cecil. So he says, Dr. Chaudhary, you are back here. Not only back, sir, I come back from FRCS Edinburgh. I want to do London FRCS. Oh, why bother? These are all the same. I said, no, sir. British FRCS London, England is much different. I don't have any course available to me. Kya karega? What do I do? The old man scratches his head. Look, I will, I, will, I will get in touch with McNeil Love. The Love and Billy chap. The gospel of our book, Love and Billy. 
the macneil love so rj macneil love yes attach macneil love for the love of teaching and for some extra income he used to entertain this commonwealth boys for a clinical course Three hours showing cases and asking questions and getting them ready. जब मैं वहाँ गया तो देखा तो ऐसा लगा कि ये कोई तरी माइनर बैठा है, जाड़ा जुड़ा, इतने खराब कपड़े, बाल के कोई परवाह नहीं, जैसा प्राइम मिनिस्टर बोरिस जॉनसन था ना, very not a very neatly dressed person, उसके बाल कैसे होते तो अभी अभी जो गया बोरिस जॉनसन, और इतना बड़ा पट्टा पहनता था, ये बड़ा � so he said, you have come from Sir Cecil. I said, yes. Why do you want to take Britain? I said, sir, because your colleges are there and we people are there. That's why your colleges are there. In those days, our Bharatiya Vidyarthi became a failed. After that, the years have been built by every one of us from this building. The whole Royal College exists because of money coming from our Commonwealth people who are crazy for getting stamped as authorized surgeons. There is nothing to do with your skills. Those were the days when never bothered. Even Mumbai University, you don't have to cut. You are a postgraduate. Some of them appear directly as PG for MS. Anyway, McNeil Law. So when he used to ask questions, पहले दिन में उसने परेशान लिया कि ये आदमी बहुत तेज है. तो मेरे को बोलता था, you speak last. Let others answer first. So that was the time. So got some just fun clinical. Experience and then comes the final process, London. Okay, so London FRC is K. V. Chauber, who later on after FRC took up to MCH. So he and myself we appeared together. Between any any further surgical training in England, sir? I'll just come to that. Sir. So, so between my Edinburgh FRCS and London FRCS, the reputation had gone among the students that Madhav Chaudhary is a good teacher. So I had students to train them for final FRCS examination. So the, among the students was Dr. Tilak, urologist. He had failed. So he used to come to my apartment because YMCA was not available. YMCA was only available for entrance as a newer newcomer to be in London comfortable. So I stayed in an apartment, very posh locality, Hampstead Heath. And the apartment was shared by two more people, one Dr. Vani, pediatrician doing his DTMH and DCH London, and other Jay Shri Kirloskar, settled in Hyderabad, very famous Amma gynecologist of entire Andhra Pradesh. So we used to share that apartment. वो लोग शाम को मेरे अपार्टमेंट में आते थे तो डॉक्टर तिलक फ्रॉम मुंबई डॉक्टर मावरनकर सन ऑफ द स्पीकर मावरनकर और वन मिस्टर हुसैनी फ्रॉम हैदराबाद तो उनको मैं कोचिंग देता था शाम के वक्त सो आफ्टर दैट लंदन एफआरसीएस माय सेल्फ एंड चौवर पास एंड तिलक कुड नॉट क्लियर इट अप उन दिनों में लोग बोलते थे चौधरी के बाद जिसका नंबर ओरल में आएगा तीन चार लोग तो फेल होने ही वाले हैं you know what happened? I will I will really analyze. People coming from different states of India, the standards were different. Their English language, their expression was much different. So people from Bihar, from UP, from the so-called Madhya Pradesh, Jharkhand, but except good good Madras Chennai English, all others didn't have expressing power. So failure rate was very very high. There used to be so much frustration for failure. I, I know one day in that YMCA when I had gone there after my both the examinations, there was one fellow who had passed four, fourth time he had failed. After first failure, paisa nahi hai, to log kaam karte the. To kaam karna, paise kamana, aur pariksha ko baitna. Aashadi, Vartiki, Kartiki, Pandarpur ja ke pariksha do. Fail ho jao, fir se karo. So there was a vicious circle. They could not neither concentrate on their studies nor could about their work. Anyway, so that was the thing. So, a Lucknow ka ladka tha, to usko log samjha rahe te. Mai ja ke uske saath baitha veda, dek yaar, tere ko agar khud kushi karna hai, to why bloody take thames, go to Gomti and Sharayu, rohan dup ke mar yaar, yaan kai ko mar na. Anyway, final FRC is done. I had brought later for High Commissioner of England, Vijaya Lakshmi Pandit. How did it happen? 
my father in law from amdavad close friend of mavankar the first speaker of indian parliament he gave me a letter for vijay election just a courtesy letter the dr choudhury is my uh, son in law and he is coming for a process so hi commissioner ke paas dusra letter tha kamal nayan bajaj father of rahul bajaj the bajaj industry these two letters so i had gone to her to meet her so she was very happy that you have come here and got your fellowship are you going to go back or stay here i said i'll do some practical ex ex experience and then go back but in the book which i signed whose name was there dr p k sen mrs rosemary sen coming from us and his telephone number i got in touch with him p k sen are yaar tere ko mera number kaise mila i said my dear watson watson just imagine where you had gone bolta hai jahan main gaya tha impossible that you had gone there i said that is what you think sir i also have my contacts i was also with vijay lakshmi ji he was so happy we used to play tennis together i never worked with him and another bond was he was also a cpn bera student like me in gs medical college and he had gone to america for experimental surgery for cardiac surgery training with professor ravdin he took me out for a dinner in posh restaurant in soho with his wife and then suddenly he said choudhury ek kaam kar yaar professor ravdin is in england why don't you meet him i would like you to join me mai jaunga bombay i will set up a department uh, you have worked with baliga ab double fellowship aa gaya tu bhi aa ja wapas and join me to kya hai man i just get my final fcs both the fcs in 14 months and here is destiny asking me to do something different anyway why not go to strand hotel i said how can i go to strand hotel so i went to strand hotel sent a note from down below in the lobby professor ravdin called me to his room asked breakfast for both of us and he says professor profol uh, he talked to me about you so you are in come and join me at hospital university pennsylvania get your papers back i talked to my father on the phone he said are you crazy you just told me that you are cleared your final frcs and now you want to take up a step going back to uh, america so somehow that even he convinced he and baliga they said no 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 you don't bother about it sen has his own plans the municipal corporation has to go through all the procedures and establish department and all that so that is how the destiny changes after many many years my son shrikan elder to milin he was the chief of clinical biomedical engineering in hup when i went to his department during the walk on the corridors i see in golden letters a pavilion in memory of professor ravdin to minute mai khada raha shantapane baghitla tyacha kade ki destiny मी ह्याच्याकडे केव्हा तरी येणार होतो वीस पंचवीस वर्षापूर्वी पण आज नुसतंच त्याच्याकडे पाहतोय नो रिग्रेट्स बट दिस इज वॉट लाईफ इज ऑल अबाउट तर बालिगा ॲडवाइज मी बट ही अँड माय फादर बिटवीन देम दे हॅड ए डेफिनेट प्लॅन की नाही दिस बॉय मस्ट गो टू पेरीफेरी इन बॉम्बे यू विल बी हंड्रेड अँड वन इन बेदर्भ बॅकवर्ड एरिया यू विल बी द फर्स्ट वन because surgery was only done in the government hospitals and the post used to be called civil surgeon many a times they were not even surgeons kabhi kabhi wo physician hote the pediatrician hote the ophthalmologist so some of them were not even surgeons and sorry to say many of them were not even civil in their atma, in, in their philosophy in life anyway so with this background the turning point in my life not accepting so the work experience i took at st helens hospital kya karna hai i go to see the charles wells i can learn some urology at the interview the board was very happy but quietly they just discuss among themselves and say he is a highly qualified man we have a vacancy at the periphery 18 miles from liverpool called st helens hospital 
will send him as the resident surgical officer RSO with a very nice package and in St. Helens for the first time after all this 15 days experience at St. Bart uh, Bethnal Green. I was a full-fledged resident surgical officer at St. Helens officer. I called Devani to join me and Khare Arthani Amcha Samsar married in 1954 started life together in St. Helens Hospital. And there Mr. Janet Bones, Bennett Jones used to come. He used to be very good in vagotomies. I learned beautiful vagotomy technique with him. Within two minutes, I used to put my fingers and just hook out the vagus. And later on, I devised a long instrument, a dissection and a hook to hook out the vagus nerve. And there was used to be brewer. They were very happy with me. I used to teach the nurses. They used to learn operation theater assistance to me. He used to go to Liverpool and learn dressmaking and some cooking classes, 18 miles every day, traveling in a bus. She was very friendly with the nurses. Christmas time, festive, she decorated the walls with typical Indian Shubhachinna, the colors and all that. And she also learned ballroom dancing. So that was the first Christmas. There used to be a system that the RSO had to go to every ward to wish the patients. And whenever they went to the ward, the nurses would give them, the chief nurse in that ward, sister would give him a small glass of wine. So somehow that they decided, he asked the Mr. Chaudhary ko aada karne ka hai, usko bhot pilayenge. Six wards, but kuch pata nahi, I knew what was their distinct. So I just kept myself, I never refused whatever they gave, I gulped it down. All the six wards, I cut the cake for the patients, sang the Christmas carol. We had fun in St. Helens. One thing happened at St. Helens, Roger Bannister, <coughs> first time making a mile below four minutes. He was taken around the country, you know what country it is, to encourage people to take up to running and to win Olympic golds. This Roger Bannister was taken all along the country. So he was in St. Helens, the entire town of St. Helens, 7,000 people, big crowd there to watch him. And the local runners were running with him. That day I realized what a country is made up of. Now today I'm glad that our own government and the department, so we've seen many medals in Olympics and other competitive. So that was the way I saw in St. Helens. I completed St. Helens and just realized that if I had to go to Akola, I had not done anything in ENT. So I applied for an ENT job. There was a special infirmary in Middlesbrough called eye and ear. What a combination, eye and ear. I don't know whether some of you, you realize that nowadays it doesn't happen like that. It was a unique combination. So I learned ENT there. There used to be a chap, very hefty fellows, fell three times in final, but he used to do guillotines. And he used to do guillotines in no less than one and a half minute. So maximum list was completed by him, but I learned dissection patiently. And that helped me a lot in getting a recognition a man how much less bleeding surgical tonsillectomy in those days because ENT was very common in those days. So, what do I become? What do I become? In England, nothing. Should I join like Chaubar, MCS, or But that means I would have restricted myself. That means I would have fixed up my aim to be in Mumbai. So, therefore, return journey starts. So, while coming back with a lot of money in my hand, 9,000 rupees mein England ka pura course karne ke baad, 20,000 rupees cash, 8,000 rupees equipment from Thakkeris and other companies, basic equipment, nice to be made. An Italian ship touring down the Europe, air condition ship, MV Asia, I landed in Bombay in March 3rd, 1958. And starts my journey at Akola. Was it worth it? to have wasted that time between 1956 January to 58 March? Yes, it was worth it. I got myself acknowledged as a surgeon, including some experience in British hospitals, the famous institutions, the examining bodies. I got confidence in myself. I learned some of the traits of the British surgeons. I found out their punctuality, their work culture,
their love for teaching, which I had also learned in KM by our own teachers in KM Hospital, because many of them were fellows. The only fellow, few assistant honorees or honorees who were never FRCS was PK Sen and RG Ginde. All other units in my time were FRCS. But I would say no. Today, our own children are after their post-graduation and then fellowships in the specialty, more and more specialized one. And they are experts in what they are doing. But we were thrown out into the market to treat patients, large number of them, with practical experience and everybody managed his learning curve at the cost of the patient. I practice surgery in Akola without even bothering. So if I, may, if I may interrupt here, sir. So uh, at your time, uh, were there any people from our country, Indians, or any of the Commonwealth countries who gained the primary and final FRCS and elected to settle down in England? Was that an option? A number of them. Only Indians who had come on their lease on the services. Many of them associate professors, even some of them professors who are local MS. They, they, they had come on their deputation leave for FRCS. So they had come back to England. But many of them settled in England. Many of them. They settled. Yes. Uh, what was the acceptance of our... Uh, this, is, this is the question which uh, perhaps had equal relevance in your time there. Uh, what was the attitude of the people there uh, towards their uh, former subjects? See, uh, whether they were racist or uh, overtly racist. Or... Wonderful experience. I had wonderful time at St. Helens. At Liverpool, they said, you are so popular there. We would make you full resident surgeon with a big package, junior consultant. But two incidences showed me what was racism. One so, was a, a British patient said, I don't want to be examined by bloody Indian. It hurt me. I operated on him. After he got well, after 10 days, he brings a lot of flowers and a big bottle of whiskey to me and says, sorry, doctor, I said like this that day. The second was we were staying in a very modest accommodation in St. Helens. We wanted to shift in a bungalow. I was well known by that time that an Indian surgeon is now the resident surgical officer. The advertisement came. So when I went to see that landlord, seeing my face, because on the phone I talked about, I used to pronounce myself not at Saudhari, nobody would understand, Shaudri, Shaudri, Colin Cowdery like that. So when I, he saw my face, he quietly said, sorry, doctor, we just gave it to somebody else. I realized this is not a prestige. And I'm glad I did not stay there. I, I'm glad that I did not go to America at the instance of Professor P. K. Sen. Sen, every time he met me in ASI conferences, you should have been with me. Why did you prefer to become a district surgeon and not be in Mumbai? Okay. So that is how I came back. Father's dream, my own fantasy, decided to that. Because uh, community in Akola welcomed this son of the soil. Can you imagine? Number of functions held to honor me because there were very, very few FRCS from Mumbai to Calcutta. In our own Vidarbha district, our own Gossimek, three years senior to me, Narendra Bhivapurkar had taken his fellowship from Edinburgh. So everybody used to, institutions honored me and every time they talked, they not only praised me but gave their wish one of the organizations which honored me was the Akola District Congress Committee. Never heard of this before. A political party, very powerful party like that, felicitates me and shows the desire to be in Akola. Mein rahun, aur loko ki sewa ko. My father had already started a hospital in one and a half acres. There were two wings already constructed. So there was no reason. So I said, okay. Bombay, my patient 
is patient. Operation is operation. I would miss teaching. Teaching that's all right. But if TM does not have a chance, came within two months. The post was kept open, declared open. With gold medal, he was Arthur Disa's favorite student. So he was selected. I was not selected. So my father said, "Now you decide." You are going to be in Akola, Baliga. Ke samne, he made me confirm. Started our construction of a hospital, eight thousand square feet, thirty bedded hospital with pods. But for nearly two and a half years, makeshift arrangement, a small dingy room at the corner, converted into operation theatre. Everything was very, very primitive type. But my mother told me that. आता तू अकोल्याला राहायचं ठरवलं आहे तुला एक सल्ला देते कोणताही पेशंट पैसे नाही म्हणून परत गेला नाही पाहिजे माय फादर गिव्ह मी अ फिलॉसफी यू कॅन लेट देर बी ए हायर लिमिट लेट देर बी एन हायर लिमिट टू वॉट युअर चार्ज फॉर एनी ऑपरेशन हे अपेंडिक्स फक्त इतक्याच रुपयाचं आहे टेंडन्सी फॉर सर्जन्सीज की सामनेवाला कोण बकरा आहे उससे ज्यादा पैसे लो so you decide for your life to kitna bhi paise wala ho your appendix is not worth more than so many thousand rupees in those days that's all and the lowest limit nothing no charge dabba from my mother and wife and jaane ke liye bhada paisa so that philosophy helped me and in the commercial because akola is a commercial town cotton mills and and dal industries and all that so in that circle I got a big recognition. कि ये नया आया हुआ डॉक्टर लालची नहीं है. I thought that was the biggest recognition one can have as a doctor compared to what people talk about doctors today. ये डॉक्टर विलायत से आया है लालची नहीं है. I started there. There were a lot of problems. Infrastructure was nothing. Everything was gradually built up. So I saw over the years of fifty years. Is modest operation table seems three hundred and fifty rupees. Hard to cut ka karo. The Trendelenburg lithotomy, a shorty si cautery, then Siemens cautery, and then what not? When then? So all the developments gradually took place from operation lamps to tables to cauteries to all the things you see. Staff training. Devani used to assist me in the theatre because she had learned it. One day. I just got angry with her, so she took out her gloves and said, "Ask say me to la assist karnar nahi. I don't want you to insult me in front of others." But she continued to look after my hospitals, did hospital training job, uh, management course of niti pawai. So I trained my own people. There was no blood bank, there was no pathology, there was nothing. But gradually we built up all the things. and therefore the highlight of my 50 years i can just say that please my own hospital besides my own hospital i worked in three public charitable hospitals as an honorary surgeon learning from my gurus baliga and phadke and others so believe me cumulatively besides my 50 years in my own private 30 years in these three hospitals i rendered services and perform 10000 operations totally free the rotary international honored me with that saying that this is an honor to you service above self award every year selected few people got it for their work in the community the second thing that was happened is i started a hospital in ayurved college and taught there and operated there was one haridatt shastri ayurvedic fellow he came at the inauguration time and wonderful world he taught me dr sahib do you know operation shabd jo angrezi lagta hai are bhai ye to sanskrit ka hai kaise a par ishana iske baad for this condition there is nothing except god a par ishana give me a lesson ki operate only when that is the last remedy god wants you to do only god can help 
So without operation, he will not be cured. A per ishana. Then I created my father, his patient. What a relationship! The rich man gives him one lakh of rupees. For three years, my father could not utilize it. But we had decided not to take a single penny from anybody else. But then one day I realized that municipality Akola had a dispensary, 350 people every day opening. So I persuaded the the leaders, and we had the first full-fledged 25 bed hospital, Kishni Bai Bharatiya General Hospital. Dr. M R Chaudhary, Surgeon Superintendent, founder. So that is how. Three honorarys. The principle in those places was: I will never, never take any patient seen there. उसको बोलना कि यहाँ ये काम नहीं होगा, आवजार नहीं है मेरे पास आजा. No sir, no running about the patient from charitable hospital to private. And I could never tell my patient, you are poor, so I will ask you to go to that place where I operate. No sir, he has come to you. You have a hospital. Let him get the same benefit as a patient who pays you. I kept up my academics. I read it was very rampant because I realized and did a research paper. The illegal abattoir, kasai khana, katal khana, कहीं भी animal काट के फुगे वाला part liver का hydrated का फेंको, कुत्ते आजू बाजू वो part खाते थे and they used to transmit that to the community. So I had all the scientific data to show how the dogs are eating that discarded meat containing hydrated echinococcus cyst, how their fecal matter contaminated that worm, and how on that body and everything, and how they licked and how it is transferred. Three hundred and fifty cases of hydrated spread all over the body. What do I get academically? Lectures on hydrated all over India, ASI, Masicon, and what not. Four major centers in America: Johns Hopkins, Stanford University, Cleveland Clinic, Mayo Clinic, Grand Round Saturday, Dr. Madhav R. Chaudhary, M.S. F.R.C.S. England, Edinburgh, on hydrated disease. Who attended? Anybody who has seen hydrated in his days? New Zealand, Australia, Middle East, but some of the inquisitive Britishers. And mind you, many of my cases came pre. Sonography days also. I started Trust Hospital. What did I do? Collected 20 people in the branch of physicians, orthopedic, ENT, gynecologist, pediatricians, and ran Trust Hospital for 15-20 years. Trust was a bad name created by ex Chief Minister Antule. Trust, yani paise khana. But I saw trust means vishwas. Kya kya maine? Up the healthcare challenge of the Punjab Raw Krishi Vidya Pit, 1,500 employees, total healthcare, Chaudhary Trust Hospital. They were admitted with us. Specialists treated them, and a minimum quotation for their patients. In three years' time, the balance sheets have showed that they had saved 75 lakhs of rupees, because formerly everybody used to go anywhere and produce any type of bill. Then what I did was, government of Maharashtra in those days asked me to do surgical operations at the surgical camp. Talyar Khan, he had a brilliant idea. A Parsi gentleman, health minister of Maharashtra for a number of days, khadar wearing white cap also. H F H F S Talyar Khan. So his concept was take surgery to villages. So in Sindhewai areas, me remote areas, me Nandurbar me ja camp camp karte the. And secondly. After Sanjay Gandhi's crusade for vasectomy for everybody, Maharashtra government, myself, and Dr. Sri Khande, we started having camps for rejoining of vas. Wonderful results with just a loop and minutest of the seven or eight zero silk. Wonderful results of rejoining of vas. In between, I even started a burns unit, the first of its kind in India in a private sector. For inauguration, we had Vijay Merchant, Vijay Bhai. He was my friend in Rotary. He came to inaugurate. He was the president of the Burns Association of India, newly created body. Later on, our own Gosimek Keshwani took to Burns Unit in Bombay. So I had the first Burns Unit in Akola in those days. Wonderful device. Instead of Hubert tank, I had a suspension where I used to give them bath. 
on a on a stretcher and then bring them down weigh them for catabolic agency and dress them under anesthesia i also had a fortune to go to japan one of my patients squamous cell carcinoma bleomycin ichikawa year 1960 so he takes my patient and i go there along with his treatment i go next door neighbor hospital women's university tokyo nakayama visitor from india so he entertained me show me his operations give me his book and two instruments how to fast ligate all the mesenteric vessels just going through that and time it up so that is how i had the highlights working there i was jack of all and master too kya tha mai bombay 6 months general surgery 6 months orthopedic 2 years baliga some experience in england but in akola every day patients how can i tell them ki i can't do this i can't do this no enough is enough i must learn my own learning skill my own scheme for updating my knowledge continue surgical experience so how what did i do books complete library full of it charles rob eight volumes of operative surgery journal of british journal of surgery surgical clinics of north america no internet nothing in those days but my own scheme vacation kaha jana bombay as i told last time go to bombay gosimex learn from them everybody taught them and therefore i used to do seven branches which today are done by specialist in akola i did ortho i did ent i did urology i did gynecology and i did neurosurgery i did thoracic and vascular surgery i even did pericardiectomy so this was possible because because my gosimex my gurus my euro guru sharad bapat hath pakad pakad ke as you do to you are he had an attachment for me to watch it vinod mehta thoracic surgery orthopedic dr shahane dr bawdekar dr chaubar dr babulkar from nagpur plastic surgery cv mehendale and goleria gynec surgery khandwala even you will be surprised to see that dr b n purandare came and did his famous per vaginal tubectomy ligation he was coming on deputation by government of maharashtra to propagate family planning tubectomy operation without cutting the abdomen so that is how it happened i have two experiences in my practice one small child 3 year old govinda anesthetic could not manage him while i was operating on his telepus equinovarus there was death on table there was a big chaos he used to come and visit me and threaten me that he will go to the court that day in those days there was nothing like consumer court directly they had to go to police i could not i did not encourage him for any amount of payment after 6 months he comes and tells me ki je jhala te jhala doctor sahib to maza ekun ta ek mulga hota ani mi tar tya vela bhasat te mi operation karun ghetle 50 rupaya sathi ata kay karaycho bola mi tala mhantla ki tujha vas anesthesis mi karun gheto mumbai la kan tujha maza jamat nahiya table varti majha kade mulga mela tu mumbai la ja tani nakin le doctor sahib i trust you tumchi suk nautisti it was anesthesia he trusted me i did his vaso vas repair after one year he brings a lovely small kid ha maza mulga saheb mhatla kay naav thele re te bai lajun mhanli saheb mi tumchas naav thele mahadev what a tribute what a tribute the second case i remember was dot uh, mother of a physician mrcp and six doctors in the family famous people right from kanetkar gosumek cardiothoracic surgeon uski mother in law right from doctor in nagar very famous gynecologist another sain hospital mrs kanetkar gynecologist and her own so there was a cinema bara aankhe do haath aur wo operation tha do haath bara aankhe doing a hysterectomy on this very prestigious family in the akola operating on hysterectomy by a general surgeon madhav archaudhary do haath bara aankh hota hai when you have luck like this going around 
Why did I retire in 2008 at the age of 79? 50 years in surgery. I put on my dress, very well dressed all the time. England say, come here, three piece suit, say, come nahi. Abhi abhi to nikla hai jacket. Uswakat ka, throughout I wear three piece suit. Otherwise, jacket nahi hai, to at least tie and suit. I go to my hospital. Sir, when you are speaking about the attire, uh, you must tell our viewers about the RCS tie you are wearing now and the RCS tie you carried with you when you returned from England. Yeah, Different in colors, designs. So, you purchased this at two and a half pounds. Mein. Milin goes to England, shows his daughter Janaki where Nana learned, got his FRCS. Goes to the shop and purchases this one, now a broader one, with the same emblem of that uh, bird. And yeah. now he paid more than 15 pounds for that. That is what FRC is. So, so, that so, is the attire, yes, sir. So, why did I retire? Sab log ko bole ke aas tumi hanta ki Maji, Sunbai, Milin's wife, he had joined me. My brother in law had joined me. So I said that now is the time to retire. I remember my friend Vijay Merchant's statement when he retired from cricket. You must retire when people ask you, why have you retired? Fully At my bucket list to show me what I had to do, and therefore I retired exactly at the age of 79, 50 years of surgery. So, this is now the entire spectrum of going to England, getting the two FRC degrees, coming back to Akola, all along working as a district surgeon. Okay, boss, I was a district surgeon. I could never compete myself or think about and compare myself with my colleagues in Mumbai. But believe me, my Gossimek taught me to be non suicide omnibus, not for self, but for others. My Gossimek friends at every stage taught me, knowing fully well, that if we learn it, then it will become a reference to it. It was not a good thing in my mind. It takes to be a Gossimek. In Akola, I was very happy that I never had to have commission to the practitioners. That system had never started in that and I never saw to it in my life. Anything else, sir? Sir, that... in a couple of sentences or yes. more if you wish, what does it mean? What has it meant to you in 50 years of practice? What does it mean today to be what you call a district surgeon? Let me let me tell you because it will come uh, uh, in the part four also. Right. Okay. If I was sure. not in if I was not in a district, I would not have been the multifaceted global experience in more than one field of surgery. Because today surgery has become so much micro. I was jack of all and master too. Today you have to just know the small portion, but be expert in technology. But if you are in a district, you know what is the need of that place. I fulfill that need. Like me, in those districts, there are wonderful people, the general surgeons, the real general surgeons. We are not surgeon generals. We are only general surgeons. And I call myself a general practitioner in surgery. You have this problem. You cannot go to a specialist. He is not available in and around. I will do it, but not after learning it properly. Go to Mumbai, learn at his steps, get the instru instruments, bring that man to your place to operate first case so that your staff gets to know about it. And then you practice. Learning curve does not mean at his cost. Not even in gun uh, district hospital. Nobody would be guinea pig. You know that you are going to do the same good work. So district hospital, the world has gone. Private nursing homes over the years have gone. I patients, but no infrastructure. 
there are more than 100 general surgeons at different branches they have everything technologically available anesthesia kya kaat milna was a great thing again my gosmek senior baba ji bhojral he sent me a first qualified anesthetist from his student who had done da and then many people came up who belong to akola and stayed there otherwise my first operation of reduction of a fracture my father kaka saheb choudhury grand medical college graduate and two post in surgery gave chloroform baba ji bole chloroform is the still the safest at the hands of the people who have used it but then gradually we evolved it so i never felt that i was inferior to anybody mere ko log bolte the tu kya yaar hum bombay mein sad rahe hai this were their words the specialist tu to akole ka badshah hai yaar are badshah to sab gaye चार राज्य है ओनली पैक ऑफ कार्स में और आज तो इंग्लैंड की रानी भी चली गई बट आई वॉज नॉट बादशाह बट द पीपल क्राउन मी एज ए गुड सोल एज ए गुड सर्जन एज ए वेरी ह्यूमैनिटेरियन सर्जन दैट इज वॉट काउंट एंड दैट इज वॉट मैटर इन माई लाइफ एब्सोलूटरफुल सर दिस टू मोर स्मॉल क्वेश्चन टाइम इन योर करियर इन अकोला हाउ मेनी आर्स अ डे वुड यू वर्क सर Uh, there were days when I had not slept on my bed. Puri chadda bilkul saaf thi. Pata nahi deva ani ko kam mein gaya aad baje ka call aaya. Khana khate. Civil hospital mein operation kia. Chaudhary hospital mein three mile three minutes from my home and all night. No ICU. Wahi soya. Patient thik hua tab ghar ko aaya. So twenty two hours was maximum. My father had given me idea. hard work never kills a man bad habit kills you so we'll talk about it ki main akola mein reh ke kitna safe raha from all the things which are associated with surgeons doctors with plenty of money in medical profession all the allurement all their various vices and their health problems and their stress and everything so i, I lived in a very free life no botheration about competition कोई भी नया आदमी आया तो उसको बोलता था मेरे पास आके ऑपरेट कर ये तेरा हॉस्पिटल है यू आर नॉट माय कॉम्पिटिटर्स वी आर टुगेदर वी आर नॉट कॉम्पिटिंग ईच अदर वी आर कोलेबरेटिंग एंड वी आर एक में कुछ साथ देके काम करने वाले हैं नेवर बी ए कॉम्पिटिटर कॉम्पिटिशन डज नॉट मीन कि वो भी पैसा कमाता है तू भी बह वो ज्यादा तू कम इट इज कोऑपरेशन एंड कोलेबरेशन रदर देन कॉम्पिटिशन So in view of what you have just said, my last question, what was to be and is my last question, will perhaps be answered next time. Is did you ever miss Bombay or Mumbai as we call it now? Uh, no, you know, I I really miss being a teacher. Thodi si dudha si tahan taka aur bhagoli Ayurved College la shikol. But we try ke la as a trust hospital. we started three months course for non allopathic doctors ki bhai tum log sar dard hai ye goli lo sar dard ka karan kya hai pet mein dukhta hai spasmin don lo aisa mat karo three months course for clinical so many doctors came and they remember us life long ki we became so good so good ki dehat mein jaate the to mbbs doctor humko puchta tha कि तुम अकोला में डॉक्टर नाना साहब के पास क्या करते थे इसके लिए सो आई आई मैनेज टू टीच देम आई मैनेज टू रीड पेपर्स इन डिफरेंट कॉन्फ्रेंसेस बट आई वाज नॉट एक्नोलेज एज ए टीचर इन द दोसी में तो छोड़ो बालिका अफोर्ड में की जा तेरे को लगता है तो मैं भेजता हूँ ग्रैंड मेडिकल में बॉस नहीं खाइन तर तुपाशी नहीं तर राहिल उपाशी जाना है तो के ये में ही जाना है Thank you very much, sir. See you next. And uh, we look forward to meeting you next week for the grand finale of our four episode this particular Starting series on real life. Real life, the bucket list, complete. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir.